next week. But I uh, appreciate you. Have a good one, man. Thank you for having me on as usual. Definitely, definitely. Take care. Bye. Later. All right, we've got our next guest up on the line. Uh, somebody I'm excited about to get on the show, Ty Battle. He's an award-winning gospel rap artist. How's it going? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm just um, honored to be a part of this, man. Um, I've definitely been paying attention to you, and I'm just um, thankful to be a part of your um, radio show right now. Definitely, definitely appreciate you for coming on. So once again, Ty Battle, he's uh, an award-winning gospel rap artist. He's actually is nominated for three awards at the Voices yes. of Gospel Music Awards. Um, yes. Real quick, t- talk about that and where everybody can go vote and everything. Um, the Voices of Gospel Music Awards is going to be held in Mobile, Alabama in the second week of September. And I would definitely appreciate everyone to vote for me. Um, I'm nominated for three categories. Um, category number 13 is Gospel Hip Hop Artist of the Year. Category number 14 is Gospel Rap Album of the Year. And category number 15 is uh, Youth Artist of the Year. Um, all you got to do is just log on to Vogma, V-O-G-M-A dot org. And click on where you see the voting section. Once you click on voting, just go to the three categories I just listed and choose Thai Battle. Uh, once you finish choosing the categories I'm in, then you could just scroll all the way down the page and click on Submit. Definitely. So voting is unlimited. You can vote as many times as you want. The more votes, the closer I could win the categories. Um, I actually have the link attached to my bio and on my IG page. Definitely. And go follow him at I am Thai Battle. On social media, yes. I'll put that in the chat room so you guys can definitely see that. Also, we'll be playing his single, uh, On My Way to Church. We'll be playing that a little bit later on. But yes. I wanted to, um, first of all, just get you to share your your kind of background and your, your testimony and what kind of got you to this point in, um, in rapping. Well, actually, um, I started rapping. First, I was a secular rapper. I started rapping. In 1999, around that time, I had a group called um, NYP. It stands for New York Performers. And, you know, we was little kids around that time. I started at the age of 10 rapping. But um, several years later, you know, I went through a lot in my life. So I decided to dedicate myself to the Lord at the age of 21. And that's when I transitioned from being a worldly rapper to a gospel rapper. Because I didn't want to talk about the same worldly things I was before, you know, I got saved. So... I had to change the messages in my song and I wanted to be more of a positive rapper and share the gospel through the form of rap. So um, I can say about maybe five, six years now I've been a gospel rapper. Definitely, definitely. And I think I think it, it is it is a blessing to be able to do that, to be able to, mm-hmm. to switch over to, to a gospel rap from what you were doing before. Um, yes. Yes. So what what are some of the and we're talking a tie battle? Uh, he's an award winning gospel rap artist. Go vote for him at vogma dot org. He's a finalist for three awards, uh, so definitely yes. go 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 vote. But what are some influences in your music uh, kind of coming up and you know either secular or or gospel rap? Basically, you want to know like the what artists influence me in a secular in a secular rap community. Uh, well, either or, either or. Well, you know, I was more into. I'm from New York, by the way, so I was. You know, I always grew up around like Wu Tang Clan and Tupac, Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. So those are the rappers that I grew up listening to. But um, as far as the uh, gospel rap artists. I would go with um, it's a rapper named Bizzle. Are you familiar with Bizzle? Yes. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah, Bizzle. Um, Lecrae, but it was more of the earlier Lecrae when he first came out. He he influenced me. Um, and it's a it's a few more other ones. It's another gospel rap artist named the, the Truth. Yeah, that's my that's my guy uh, right there, man. But when I I don't yeah. need to cut you off, but I I, I when I first started listening to um, 
to gospel rap. That's who I found. I found the truth. Yeah, I don't even truth. know how I found this CD. Because he was with um, Cross was real. Movement at first. Cross Movement, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah. it's so funny because when I was a teenager, when I was doing, when I was out there in the secular world, like my mom used to say, oh, won't you write a rhyme about God? And around that time, I didn't take it serious. I'm like, no, I'm not writing a rhyme about God. But once over the years, I started to, you know, spiritually grow and mature. My life started to transition. So I'm like, no, I want to use my talent for God. And I never went back ever since. So it's been a good maybe five to six years now. I've been doing gospel rap. Yeah. And I just, I thank God for a change of mind because, you know, 10 years earlier, like when my mom told me I should write songs that glorify God and take it serious. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, com- I definitely commend you for doing that and really mm-hmm. just listening to to that voice, uh, listening to the Holy Spirit and just being willing to, to do it. Um, yeah. A lot, some people some people don't. Um, so I definitely, definitely commend you on that. So what's, mm-hmm. uh, what would you say is the, the key message in your music that you, you know, trying to get across to the listener? I'm basically just trying to... Um reach out to the to the youth and all, all different types of ages but mainly the youth like my generation because I want them I want to point them to Christ my responsibility as a gospel rap artist is for is for me to share the gospel through the form of rap and let people know like okay you do have a gift you do have a talent but you could take that gift that God invests inside of you and use it to glorify him so I'm just a vessel that's trying to lead souls to, to Christ and, you know, point them into the right directions, which is following Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah, that, that is that is the goal. Um, us as Christians and people out there listening, our, our duty is to share it, not to keep it to mm-hmm. ourselves, but to share it so that people can, can know, so they can know. Yeah. If they know, they get to choose, but it's mm-hmm. definitely our our job and duty to let them know yeah like i don't believe in you know forcing religion down anyone's throat not at all but i just feel like whoever we come across it's our responsibility to share the faith to share the gospel and it's either they will accept it or not we just move on and continue to do what we was led to do by holy spirit that's all definitely so we're talking with ty battle uh gospel rap artist talk about your your ep uh, international battle and then what battle in- international is and what that means okay well actually battle first of all is my last name right um ba- battle is my last name international is just something that i want to i believe that i was created to be i believe that you know my music eventually someday is going to be international i believe that i was created to you know make music that glorifies god which is going to be international someday so um that's where i combine battle international but also i have a slogan called um i'm on an international battle to win souls for the lord so my ep is called international battle but it really stands for my slogan i'm on an international battle to win souls for the lord so no matter where i'm at wherever my music reach like i was telling you a few minutes ago that I'm trying to, you know, lead souls to Christ through the form of rap, through my songs that I make that glorify God. So that's where, you know, Battle International or International Battle comes from. It all lines up with my last name, Battle. Right, right. But I think but I don't also... Be, I don't want to be local, so that's why I wrote International. I combined it with International. Definitely. And we are in a spiritual battle every day. So that that's yeah. your last name, but also when you talk about... When you uh, dig deep into that, we're in a spiritual battle every single day. As soon as we wake up, uh, can I add something? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Ephesians six verse twelve says, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places." So that's another scripture that I um, refer to the international battle EP. Definitely, yeah, I mean, and that's that's exactly it. That's it right there. Um, that's, mm-hmm. that's 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 what, that's what it's all about. So, yeah, I know you just came out with the a the EP uh, International Battle, but what's what's up next for you? What are you working on? Um, you know, what can um, some of the listeners and and your fans be on the lookout for? 
Um, I actually just finished a new song that I uh, performed. I ministered at a church about two weeks ago called Righteousness Over Ratchetness. And it's um, featuring two other people. I have my niece on the hook. She's a six-year-old girl um, saying righteousness over ratchetness. And then I have another Christian artist um, by the name of Tracy Michael. He's on a, so- on a second verse of the song rapping. So um, basically my new single is going to be righteousness over ratchetness. Yeah, and it's it's uh, funny you mentioned Tracy Michael. I've actually featured and played some of his music uh, on my show in the past. Um, oh, yeah? From, okay, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, so, man, and all through Eric DeWalt. Eric DeWalt, um, who gave me your your uh, your name and everything, uh, he's been uh-huh. kind of the middle point to connect me to to a lot of artists and a lot of people. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah, yep, yep. So this this so, uh, is a sports. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, I'm, no. I've been you know I've been paying attention ever since you hit me up through direct messages. Like I see you know you're very into sports and you was talking. Uh, I see you like talking about the NBA and that's the sport I mostly follow. So okay, um, cool. Yeah, yeah let's we, talk about it if you want. Let's go. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. A lot of these trades that went down. But first of all, I got to ask you, what team are you a fan of? Is it, is it the Knicks? Oh. Uh, Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm a big Knicks fan, man. Even though, you know, Porzingis, it hurt my heart kind of when Porzingis got injured, but he'll bounce back stronger next season. Yeah, I, he, I truly he, believe be that. Good. Um, man, that, that that was kind of a heartbreak because I think that the Knicks were right on the edge of possibly making it to the playoffs. I think they were what is eighth, eighth or ninth or somewhere around. It was there, 10 so. feet, but they still had a chance to become eighth. Yeah, yeah. What, what's, so and what's Pozingas your thoughts just got voted into the All Star game, so he's gonna miss right. down the All Star game now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They've um, let me see. I, I got my notes. Somebody's gonna be replacing him. Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker. Him. Yes, yes. But tell me your thoughts on all these on all these trades with Cleveland. Um, what, what, was, what was your thoughts when you seen all that go down? I was shocked because I thought Dwayne Wade. Um, went to Cleveland to win a ring with LeBron. Like, I thought they was, you know, best friends and they had a plan together to try to get another ring. So, when I found out that he went back to Miami, it, you know, of course, by surprise. But um, I think it was a smart pickup from them to get Jordan Clarkson. It was another guy who they got as well. I forgot who it was. Uh, Larry, Larry Nance. Okay, is he good? I don't, I'm not really familiar with his game. He, he's good. He's good. He's a... He's a huge dunker, but he's also he's a power forward that adds length and 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 youth because that's, okay. that's what they were really looking for. So I guess, yeah, part. that's the positive. And then Isaiah Thomas, I felt like they didn't give him enough time, but like him and LeBron only played with each other for a month, fifteen, or games. maybe a little bit over a month, fifteen <laughs> yeah. games. Crazy. Yeah, I felt like he could have been like a Kyrie Irving, but they didn't give him enough time, and he just came off an injury, so. I just felt like they should have let him gel um, a little bit more time, to, at least till the end of the season, at yeah. least. Yeah, and I think, and, like, and I was maybe, saying, oh, go ahead. I'm like I was saying earlier, I think a huge part of it was he made a comment basically talking about how when adversity hits them, they start to divide. And he said that yeah. last week, um, and I think that was part of it. I think they, they were – they were already leaning towards, and I think part of it is, of course, is LeBron too. If LeBron doesn't like the person, if he doesn't feel like they jail, he's got more say so than anybody on that team. So I think they had a part mm-hmm. of it too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess it was a LeBron thing, but the thing is, with him, I don't even think he's going to be on Cleveland next season. I think he's most likely probably going to one of those teams on the West. That's, that's and what, you know with the rumor, yeah, it's a rumor going around about him, you know, meeting with Golden State, the opportunity come his way. I don't believe that. I, I just, I can't see him going to Golden State. Like, I think that's just too much of an All Star team. So, yeah, I, I don't. To I, don't me, know. I hope to, not. <laughs> yeah, to me, if he wants to be seen as someone that competes. He wouldn't go. He wouldn't go to Golden State. They're already set. They've already already yeah. have four to five All Stars. I mean, they could have probably five potentially. 
with with, with just uh-huh. how, how well they play. So to me, that would be probably the worst decision for his legacy. I think that he.